Recently, Pope Francis announced that the Synod on Synodality will be extended into 2024. The Synodal Committee presented a working document on the World Synod on Synodality at the Vatican on October the 27th. Titled Make Wide the Space of Your Tent, the document runs just over 40 pages. Grazie per la vostra presenza. Cardinal Mario Grech, Secretary General of the Synod of Bishops, a synodal church. and Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich led the press conference for the release of the document. Key insights, questions. They were joined by Professor Anna Rowlands, as well as Father Giacomo Costa and Monsignor Piero Coda. Cardinal Grech stressed that the participants in the Synod were still apprentices who could improve in implementing the synodal dynamic. The results from a worldwide survey of Catholics were compiled into the report. It was a surprise for all of us to hear how the people of God, despite their different sensibilities, were united in their call for a profound renewal of the Church. The presented paper is not yet a final document, but according to its authors, it should give suggestions as to which priorities should be discussed at the first session of the Synod of Bishops in October of 2023. The organizers said many Synod reports have raised questions about the role of women, young people, the poor, people who identify as LGBTQ, and the divorced and remarried. Martin Rottweiler, director of EWTN Germany, has been closely following the controversial synodal way in Germany since 2019 and says that the World Synod of Bishops could draw its lessons from this process in Germany. I think it is very important how one starts this synodal process and is clear what is actually at stake here. And I think that, especially in Germany, false expectations or false hopes were raised. And the majority of the bishops clearly said, we want a change in church doctrine. And I think that was a mistake from the basic point of view. Cardinal Grech and his colleagues emphasized that they were still in the listening phase and would only enter into discussion at the level of the universal church in the next step. If you think about the gospel, the disciples of Emmaus are a classic example for me. Jesus was traveling with them. They were completely disappointed, completely understandable. Christ walks beside them, listens to them, but he doesn't just hold their hand and say, oh yes, what a shame and how sad. But didn't you understand what actually happened? He gives them orientation, and that is a starting point for conversion. So the church must also be aware of this. The shepherds in particular must also be aware of this. They have a task and a responsibility for orientation. Listening, yes, but also giving orientation. The question of Jesus Christ also came up during the presentation of the document. Pope Francis has repeatedly emphasized the mission and evangelization, Mike question is, can you briefly summarize the, the most inspiring suggestions from the Synodal Survey for bringing Jesus Christ to the modern world? That's fundamental. Eh? That's the reason for a Synodal Church. In fact, the, the, the theme for the Synod is a Synodal Church, communion, participation, and mission. As Cardinal Hollerich said, mission is the last term, not because it's the least important, but because it is the foundation stone. <laughs> For me, synodality and mission are the two faces of the same medal. Unless we become a synodal church, we will fail to proclaim the joy of the gospel to humanity today. I think that the reports have this deep, deep hunger for a new confidence in the church, a confidence in its ability to proclaim the gospel to a world so deeply in need, so deeply in need. And so part of the challenge is how to read these contributions of, of people who faithfully, faithfully want that confident church. They want confidence, they want participation, they want an outward-looking church which is healthy uh, from its inside. 
Martin Rottweiler from EWTN Germany is certain the church still has something to say to the people of today. Ich glaube, die Botschaft, die sie geben kann und geben muss, ist nichts weniger als Christus selbst oder Gott selbst. I believe the message the church can and must give is no less than Christ himself or God himself. To make it clear, this is really about a God who loves us, loves us unconditionally, and who, and this does not exist in any other religion, became man. We must bring Christ to the people, his love, and that each of us is loved. Because that is what drives some to despair when they realize, I am measured only by performance, and no one loves me. I have no recognition.